PRM was notable for its originality and creativity during its run between 2019 and 2021, with the group producing big hits like Thin Ice, Lottery Live, Hidden Drops and Surprise Bite. But in this week's Roblox Game Show Community discussion video, for the first time ever, I'll be telling you about some of the projects that entered development, but never, ever made it onto the schedules. Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of a Roblox Game Streaming Discussion. A recurring series where we take a deep dive and talk about the issues, problems and things you may not know about the Roblox Game Streaming community and the groups and shows involved with it. Along with a little bit of analysis along the way, using my knowledge and experience of over five years as a developer and producer for groups like TOF and TRN, among others. Today we're talking about TRN, or the Roblox Network. A formal group in the community that ran shows between January 2019 and September 2021. For most of its run, it was often considered the third or fourth option in the community and championed more experimental and, and less well-known shows compared to original and along with some original formats compared to other groups at the time. But today we are not talking about TRN's issues. And there were a lot of them. We're talking more about the development process. TRM had many shows during its run. Many more than GCW did during their run. run uh, which was a bit longer. But to the surprise of many, TRM has also got a very long rap sheet of shows that ended development but never came out on the, off the other side. So today I'm going to tell you the tale of five shows. Five. That ended development at TRM but never made it out to air. All of the shows have evidence to back up their development without screenshots, format listings, or heck, even a Roblox group game for the, sh for the project. And of course, these are not affiliated productions. Uh, these were all TRN originals. They were all gonna be on TRM exclusively. So, so with that, let's get down to the first show. Let's start with one of the most recently shelved projects. This was about, this was shelved in about late, uh, mid August, 2021, just before I retired. And it was Wipeouts. And we're not talking about the one with the big red balls. It was a popular game show in the UK during the nineties, which was hosted by Paul Daniels. And then later with Bob Monkhouse in one of his final regular TV gigs. The game consisted of players being given 16 options and having to pick the right answers that fit into a selected category. Selecting wrong answer, a wrong answer would reset their scores or score back to zero, or as you could say, wipe their score out. The TRM version was in, in development for over six months, at least six months. It, it, was, it, was, it was in there for a while. Mike, uh, it was going to be developed by and produced by Mike the Cav who had assistance with the development work from Biz150. It had a pilot set in February, before, it, before though it got uh, the stack got scrapped uh, in favor of a more original design, which I will flash up on the screen now. And I'll be honest, I quite like the design they were going with. Work continued until August 2021, when I confirmed it be shelved for other projects like Briskin at all, which will later be transferred to TGP, after TRN closed. This next one comes from much earlier in TRN's run. This is about autumn 2019, September, October 2019. And it was an adaptation of Deal or No Deal in TRN. I was, I was the lead developer on the show. Um, and it featured 22 boxes, a quarter of a million pounds, and box 23, which I can't remember. Of course, I don't need to uh, remind everyone of the format for Deal or No Deal because everybody knows the format for Deal or No Deal. This did end up, again, getting quite fun to de into development. The main set and a lot of the lighting was done. We were just having troubles with box shuffling and a bit of surface gooey stuff as well. Nothing would come from it though as a result and 
funny, funnily enough, we did actually have a host auditions uh, very early on to try and decide a host. I still have the notes on my Google Drive. And yeah, we it just never got finished. It got put on the back burner for other projects. And GSL ended up doing a version the year after. Um, so yeah, that's what happened to do on ERN. This is the one that you may not have ever heard about. In development throughout spring 2022 was an original format from Quiz Doctor called Stock Rocket. I'm not going to spoil the details because it is quiz for it is quizzes format and I think it'd be best if he's still working on it I don't spoil what would happen in it but from what I can tell you it was in format development for about a couple months in early 2021 uh, early to mid 2021 quiz was the main developer he had assistance from Mike McCav uh, for a period before updates quietly disappeared about July 2021 and it, we have not heard about it or I've not heard anything about it since it's a bit interesting though, but I think you can probably make some things out as a result. But I'm not going to say much more because it is his format. Uh, he may be working on it, he may, he may have just sold it off to another group or something. But yeah, that is something you may not know. We did have, uh, Quiz was working on another original show, and it was called Stock Rocket. This is a more obscure show that was being worked on throughout 2020. Based on the short-lived Sky One game show from 2008, Sell Me The Answer saw a player answering a series of 10 questions of increasing difficulty and cash values. Unlike the questions on who wants to be a millionaire though, there are no options or lifelines. If the player was unsure of an answer, they just had to yell out, Sell Me The Answer often quite enthusiastically as well and try to make a deal with an audience member for cash uh, in exchange for the answer which would be taken out of the pot if their answer was correct they would receive uh, the audience member would receive the cash out of the pot that was being built up after each question and after 10 questions the player could take the money and leave or alternatively they could go and uh, go for the, uh, for the jackpot prize and one last question this was an interesting one because it was hastily worked on following immediately following the success of in drop zones and its perk and point system points were about it was around the time points were being coming starting to become a regular currency on trn around the time but as other projects gained higher priority especially during, as the uh, pandemic shuttered everything down and as a result here and decided that we we're going to do multi-millionaire extremely early uh, in march it was literally early a month earlier than slate is and with its also format change uh to 10 questions it was decided to leave, uh, that some of the answer would be ended up leaving left on uh, the back burner and when the lottery live picked up uh steam at the start of summer to, uh, some of the answer was essentially shelved as that was slated to be the big TRN flagship lottery and point show. Which kind of sucks. But I think some of the answer would have worked really well in the TRN points ecosystem. And it sucked that we never it does suck that we never actually had a chance to properly put it in in there. Or try it out in there as well. Finally today we have an adaption, adaptation of a German game show called the 5 million SKL show, which would have been called the 5 million Communist show. It was a show that was regularly ran in Germany for most of the 2000s and was hosted, and it was hosted by Gunther Jauch. I can't say it right. <laughs> but he is of German, who wants to be a millionaire fame? He, he is the host on the, German, on the German version of Millionaire. And it was also sponsored by a lottery, hence why it's called SKL. Um, it was called SKL or something like that, so yeah. The show involved a player deciding whether a randomly selected celebrity from a pool of five should answer a question on their behalf. If, they answer, if the celebrity answers correctly, the player earns 5,000 euros. 
However, if they answer correctly, they lose any euros they've accumulated to that point, and they only leave with the five million uh, with the five thousand. If the player did not like the question or the uh, the question, or think it was too difficult, or these celebrities could not answer it, they could walk away. And they would win the amount of money for for the five thousand a uh, five thousand euros for every correct answer. However, that was not all. Because in the corner of the set they had a chair. Whoever had the most correct answers, which also equates to the most money, at the end of the uh, would be sat in that chair. And at the end of the show, or at the end of the series, because it could occasionally run for a series of free uh, a free. But whoever was in that chair at the end of the show, or the three nights, or the two nights, or however, however long they're running for, running it for, would win a guaranteed five million euros or marks or whatever the currency they were going with. The five million community show was in development for half a year in 2020. Chris Docker Doctor was serving as the head developer before development quietly stopped. This was around the time that Thin Ice was starting to pick up and become quite popular as well, along with development on Millionaire Hot Seat. The project would end up seeing no chance of re-entering development though in TRM after they lost their affiliation with Top. Which is a whole different video that which is a whole different can of worms that would deserve a video on its own. As Quiz was planning for this to be a community game show, it was going to use notable names from across the community and and uh, uh, far. Think of it as a proto wheel or free wheel. Uh, in that, in the in that the names you'd see probably end up seeing on Ar Armand Productions the wheel right now probably would have been the names you'd be seeing on the five million community show if it was airing on TRM as an affiliated production with the community. Or well, it wasn't affiliated, but as this was just a small selection though of shows throughout your ancestry that never made it out of the moment how development how and onto the schedule but it also shows how trm was thinking at the time all four of the five shows at the time of at, across those across all that would have been new shows that have never aired in the community before the deal or no deal i think was coming off a bit of a rough patch outside of the US version when no one was doing anything except for the US. So whether you want to lump that in with it as well, I don't know. But it shows the creativity and all of the and how TR was thinking outside the box. And it sucks that a load of these shows never got finished. That's all for today's game show community discussion video though if you enjoyed the video please consider, consider leaving a like or even subscribing for more occasional videos like this i do upload a lot of content there on a regular basis i upload daily uh on uh with other games and streams and also the really good game nights on wednesday uh so if you want to see stuff like that as well maybe best to subscribe but until then thank you ever so much for watching stay safe see you soon have a good one bye bye trn was notable for its originality and creativity ah fuck today we are talking about the trn now. uh oh fuck trn was notable for its originality ah fuck